A severe storm system that's already wreaked havoc in parts of the country has other parts bracing for it. Tornadoes carved paths of destruction in Oklahoma and Texas today, injuring at least seven people. It's part of a larger storm system that's threatening additional damage in the south, including the possibility of more tornadoes. It's also spurring the threat of blizzard-like <coughs> conditions in states farther north, some areas already seeing heavy, blowing snow and freezing rain. They Hopefully sure we're not going to have tornadoes here. Though. No, no, Nothing that'll like that. be south of us and the blizzard will be west of us. We're just yeah. going to have a healthy rain and we actually could use it. You know, mm. we've only had about half our normal amount of precipitation since September. Keep that in mind because there is no way to sugarcoat what we've got coming in here. It's uh, it's going to be pretty unpleasant. Wind and rain and uh, chilly raw temperatures. The readings, interestingly, a little bit above normal. There are 27 states, Parts of them that are under one form of weather advisory or another with this mammoth storm system. And yet here we sat today for going on the fifth day in a row uh, under the cloud cover. We haven't had a look at the sun since way back Thursday last week. It's been something and we're about ready to go into the deep freeze. That'll really take place next week. This is 11 days of temperature departures. What's expected to happen will be modestly above normal, although it won't feel like that the next two days because Thursday while there'll be some sun the day after tomorrow in the morning and that may be the first sun we've seen in almost a week by then if that occurs the clouds will lock in in the afternoon we'll go into some snow showers and then flurries Friday and Saturday Sunday a little sun and then it cools off and I mean gets cold we're heading toward the Christmas week uh, uh, not this weekend but the weekend that follows and it may be that we have teens for highs and single digits for lows on Christmas Eve day a week from this Saturday and Christmas itself. Look at the extent of this cold weather that's locking in in the 6 to 10 day outlook and the 8 to 14 day outlook shows about the same thing. A good part of the lower 48 getting chilly. So this is just the opening salvo of a very active weather pattern. Look at the comma shape. This is that feature we call the dry wedge. It's into this little feature right under the strongest winds of the jet stream as this shifts eastward that we may get a little sun on Thursday. But before that happens, we've got ourselves some rain and wind and may pick up anywhere from an inch and a half to two inches of rain, the most that we've had in any weather system since September. There's where the storm will be tomorrow evening there's where it will be on Thursday and the backside circulation is what carries the cold air in. It's also what's producing the blizzard out in the plain states. Look at the winds. Rapid City has wind gusts with snow in the air of 59 miles per hour. They've had over 10 inches of snow already in parts of Nebraska and South Dakota. While well, we're in this strong east southeast flow that will build to over 30 miles an hour and look at the array of warnings. Uh, everything from a gale warning on Lake Michigan to winter storm warnings watches up by Rhinelander and into the upper peninsula of Michigan. Winter weather advisories blending into storm warnings west of that. These are winter storm and blizzard warnings and you can see the blue winter weather advisories all the way out into the Rockies. Meantime in its warm sector a flood watch and a tornado watch in effect from old parts of uh, Georgia and Alabama westward into Louisiana and eastern Texas and they've got freeze warnings on the back side of this down in the Phoenix area. So that's quite a collection. Look at the winds here, how they swirl toward the center of low pressure. It's this flow into the system and then up through the atmosphere into the jet stream that sets up the huge wind circulation that's going to be very much a part of our weather pattern. We are above freezing. We've been above freezing at O'Hare Field since five o'clock in the morning last Thursday. That's an incredible run for uh, this time of the year and we're going to stay above freezing until late late tomorrow night. East wind are picking up. Humidity is starting to come up as well and rain is at our back doorstep right now after highs today in the mid 30s. You get an incredibly small range in temperature this time of the year when you've got cloud cover at night and uh, clouds during the day. The clouds keep the temps up at night and the temps down during the day. And so when all is said and done, uh, there's just not much daytime, nighttime movement. 34 at Harvard today, 39 at uh, the Latin School here in town. Gusts have approached 30 miles an hour in their building. And another day without a ray of sun. 
uh, it's really getting kind of tiring. 132 hours above freezing. That's since 5 o'clock in the morning last Thursday at O'Hare, and it's been longer than that. Midway hasn't been below freezing um, in, in 182 hours, going back to 5 o'clock last Tuesday. That's something for December, a month that could be very chilly. There you see the winds and the temperatures, and here's the radar view of a complicated storm system whose rains are moving in on us right now, as you can see. Look at the severe weather. These are tornado watches down to the south. There have been tornadoes reported where you see the icons, and that's just starting to rev up. Meantime, look at all the snow reports, and that includes uh, ice uh, out here in parts of the western Midwest. So it's a huge weather system. Rain develops tonight. Rain and wind with gusts 30 to 40 during the day tomorrow. Rain developing tonight. Windy, chilly, and raw. Low temperatures above normal for this time of the year, but still miserable at 36. Winds will build uh, uh, to uh, 18 to 38 miles an hour later tonight from the east southeast. Rain heavy at times tomorrow, high of 44. Uh, winds will ease a bit in the afternoon, but when you start at 16 to 35 and gusty and they come down to 20 to 30, that's no bargain. Cold, wet, and raw tomorrow night. Rain at times. Tapers off late tomorrow night, low down to 32. Then a brief break in that little dry slot in the storm before the clouds on the back side of it swirl back in on Thursday with some mixed rain and snow showers in the afternoon. A high of 40 and falling into the 30s. Friday, snow showers and windy with 33, maybe a few flurries, a lot of clouds on Saturday and 27, and a little subtle break from the clouds on Sunday with a high of 27. Monday, cloudy, maybe a little light snow and maybe some flurries early Tuesday. But a weather system that looks a little more interesting Wednesday night, Thursday, Thursday night, Friday morning, that's when we could get a little snow. And you know, uh, a lot of people like their white Christmas is this it's time of the year. It's magic. It's almost here. Yeah, it, so, it, yeah. It's hard to believe, isn't it? And it doesn't feel full intensity winter yet, but it will next week. We'll talk more about that later on. All you right. Thanks, Thanks so much, Tom. You, Dana, you bet.